Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, how to select a date in a calendar on a web page using Selenium. Let me answer. There are different types of calendars. And in this session, as part of answering this question, I am going to pick one type of calendar and show you how to automate it for selecting a date in it. Okay. So this is the application page where we have this calendar. Okay. Let me copy this and open this uh, URL in this uh, browser. Let me paste here and open. So you'll be taken to this web page where we have this uh, date field. When you click inside the date field, you will get a calendar. Now in this calendar, I'm going to show you how to select a date using Selenium. Okay. Let's say I would like to select uh, something like uh, this. June. July, otherwise July 23rd. Okay. July 23rd, 2024, I want to select. Okay. This is what is the requirement. How to make that possible? Okay. Let me refresh otherwise. So how to automate so that uh, in this calendar, that particular 23rd, July 2024 date will be selected. Okay. Let me show you practically. For that, I'll switch to this Eclipse ID where in this main method, I'll write some code. Web driver, driver is equal to new. Chrome driver. This will open the Chrome browser. Okay. Over the mouse on the web driver and import it. And over the mouse on this Chrome driver and import it from Selenium library. Then I would like to maximize the browser window, driver.manage.window.maximize. Then I would like to open the application URL. I would like to give the application URL page uh, where this calendar field is available, date field is available. Copy this URL and paste it here. Done. After that, after opening the application URL, so to get the calendar, I have to click inside the date field. Okay. In order to click inside the date field, I have to inspect this date field. You see, this date field has an ID. Copy this ID of the date field and simply write down driver dot find element by dot ID. Give the ID of the date field and simply say dot click. When you say dot click, okay, the calendar will appear. And this is an Ajax. You see, without the page getting load, the calendar is displaying, right? That means it's an Ajax. This calendar may take some time sometimes. Okay. So we have to wait. We have to wait until this calendar is displayed on the page. How to wait? I'll implement the explicit, explicit waiting mechanism where I'll be waiting for one of the element here, like uh, this next button or whatever it is, okay? Or the entire calendar otherwise, okay? Right click inspect this calendar. Okay, this this part. If I go up, you see, uh, if I, I can still go up, you see this due section is locating the entire calendar. You can see on the UI, when I hover the mouse on this due part, it's uh, locating the entire calendar. I will wait for this calendar to be appeared on the page. For that, uh, there is an ID for this calendar. Copy this ID of the calendar. And here, I'll write the explicit waiting mechanism. I'll write web driver, wait, wait is equal to new web driver, wait. Here, I'll say driver, comma, duration dot of seconds. Here, give some time, let's say 10 seconds. Otherwise, the semicolon here for the mouse on the web driver wait, import it. Now, write down wait dot until expected conditions dot visibility of element located by here by dot ID, right? Here, the calendar has an ID. Copy this ID of the calendar. I would like to wait until this calendar is displayed on the page. Okay, and put a semicolon here. So this is explicit wait. We are waiting for a maximum of 10 seconds until the calendar is displayed. Once the calendar comes, then what we have to do once the calendar is displayed, what we have to do? So when, when I click on this calendar, you see the current month and the current year. When I'm recording this session, it's uh, June 2023. Current month and current year are coming. But the date and uh, date uh, I would like to select is 23rd July 2024, which is not this one. Okay. So what I have to do then? So I have to first retrieve this uh, current month and current year. What Once I click on this, once the calendar comes, what month is coming, what uh, year is coming, I have to retrieve that, okay? So I have to do that first. How to do that? I'll select this part and say inspect. And you can see here, so this is a June. If you want to get the month that is currently displayed here, current month which is displayed here, then there's a class for this, okay? Class, copy this class locator for this uh, month part and come back to the script and write down driver dot find element by dot class name and give the class locator and say dot get text get the text between the tags 
text between that axis June. Here spring. I'll say spring C month, current month. C month stands for current month, okay? Whatever the month or actual month, you can say A month also you can say, okay, actual month, which is coming, which is getting retrieved. Then similarly, I would like to get the year. For the year, we have this uh, class, copy this class, string, actual year, that is being retrieved is driver dot find element, by dot, class name, give the class locator for that uh, actual year thing, get text again, okay? This will get the year, okay? In between the text year is there, that will come and store into the year. Now, I got the month, I got the year. Then what I have to do, I'll write a logic here. I'll write some logic here. Why? This a month dot equals what is expected month? What, what is the expected month? I want the expected month to be July. Okay. This July. Uh, July. Okay. This July should be the expected month. Okay. I have to give here dot equals July. And also, not only this month, but also this actual year should be equal to what? Dot equals equals to 2023, okay, 2024, sorry, 2024, okay, until it becomes 2024. So, if these both are true, then I have to come out of the while loop. If both are true means the result, end result will be true and true will become true. And in that case, I have to come out of the while loop. But, so how to make it that possible? I have to give exclamatory remark and surround this with circular brackets. Now see here, if this A month becomes July and A year becomes uh, 2024, July equals July will become true. 2024 equals to 2024 becomes true. True and true will result true. Not of true will become false. When while of false, you'll come out of the while loop. Okay, when, when this match, we are going to come out of the while loop. Otherwise, what we are, want to do in this while loop? Okay, for example, in this case, June 2023 is there. A month is June. June equal to July, false. This part is false. 2023 equals 2024, true. No, it's false. Okay, it's not equal. So it's false. False and false is equal to false. Not of false is equal to true. So we'll go inside the while loop when these things are not matching. When any of these things are not matching, we'll go inside the while loop. And why we are going inside the while loop? If they are not matching, I have to click on the next button. Until the things match, I have to keep on clicking on the next button. Okay, that's the thing. I'll inspect this. And uh, you see this part is coming or this, this anchor tag also you can take. Here, data handler is there. Copy this, uh, having the next as a text. Create an X path extension, double slash A. At the rate, data handler is equal to next. Now it's locating this next button, okay, on the calendar. Okay, I have to click on this next button when this month and year are not matching with whatever the expected things. Expected month and year. Until that, we have to click on the next button. So here, I'll simply write down driver dot find element by dot X path. Give the X path expression of that uh, next button. And say dot click, that's it. After you click on the next button, this month and year are changing, okay? This month is changing at least. Again, I have to get the latest values. How to get the latest values? Here, I have to repeat this, okay? Copy this, A month is equal to, paste it here. Again, I have to get the year, okay? After clicking on the next button, I have to again retrieve the month. Again, I have to retrieve the year, okay? This month I have to retrieve, this year I have to retrieve. That is July 2023 will come. July equal to July is true, but uh, 2023 equal to 2024 is false. Since one of the thing is false, the end result will be false. Not of false will become, I mean, not of false will become true. We'll go inside the while loop and again, we'll click on the next button, okay? Both month and year should match, okay? August 2023, August false, 2023, 24 false. Not of false will become true. Again, we have to click on the, it will click on the next button. After clicking the next button, it will get the latest, uh, you know, month and year here, okay? Yeah, this part will get the latest month. This will, will get the latest year. Again, this latest month and latest year will be uh, checked with this uh, expected things. Okay, this is what is going to happen. So that means this script is going to run until it matches. It'll keep on, keep on clicking the next button. The logic will keep on clicking in the next button until we reach this uh, July 2024. When, when it reaches July 2024, here July comes, here 2024 comes, then July equal to July is true. 2024 is equal to 2024 is true. Not of true will become false, will come out of the value. Okay. Till we go to this July 2024, we are going to click on the next button. Okay. And after that, I have to select one date. Let's say I would like to select 23. Inspect this 23. Now create an XPath expression to locate this uh, 23 so that we can select it. So here, data handler is there. Copy this data handler. 
select date, control F, double slash TD, at the rate, data handler, select date. I think this is the one. Again, let me inspect this. Select day it is actually. It's not date, it's day. After select day, under the TD, we have the anchor tag. So I'll say slash A. Here I'll say text is equal to which date you want? We want 23rd date. Okay, give 23 here. Now it's locating 23. Only 23 it's locating. Okay, this XPath expression. Copy this. Here write down drive dot find element by dot XPath. Give the XPath expression of the 23rd date. After going to the respective month and year, then we are selecting the date. Okay, using this XPath expression. Dot click. That's it. Now run the script. It should select 23rd July 2024. Okay, this code should run. When, when you run this code, it should select 23rd July 2024 in the calendar of that application. Run this code. I am running the code. Just observe what's happening. So only one type of calendar I'm showing you how to automate. In different applications, you may get different type of calendars though. For that, the process may be a bit different. You see, it's going on till November, uh, sorry, it's July. Uh, 2024 it went and after that it selected 23rd date okay whatever the date we expected got selected in the calendar so guys this is how we automate uh, or handle the calendars okay so this is how we select a date in the calendar on a web page using selenium so that's all for this session thank you bye bye